Hey, how is it going? It's Marcus again. So, all time top three HPE InfoSight pitches as I've heard them from my audience. Are you ready? I'm not. <laughs> Okay, time for the first one. This one I actually heard quite exactly one year ago. It was uh, May 2018 in Auckland, New Zealand. And I was just immediately gobsmacked by this uh, pitch. It was so clever from every angle. What he managed to do is take something rather complicated and turn it into a very simple, easily understandable and relatable one minute story. And that's what every elevator pitch is about. And he nailed it. Um, the premise for this is that you have to be talking to somebody who is uh, technically skilled enough, has to understand the technological language, but at the same time has to have a business understanding of the industry. I would say that Maybe somebody sitting on a CTO level or around that position uh, would be perfect candidate to use this pitch for. So without any further ado, let me try and replicate this as best as I can. Bear with me. So, dear Mr. CTO, I know how much you value your employees. We both know that the company is only as good as its employees, right? So I have good news for you. Just the other day I met somebody who I can only describe as a superhero system administrator. I've never met somebody quite like him. Listen to this. He's constantly talking to tens of thousands of other system administrators around the globe. He's learning from their collective experience. And that means that he's never gonna make the same mistake again as one of them made in the past. He is getting truly better at his job every single minute. He's working for you 24 seven. He's never sleeping. He will never be sick and he never goes on vacation. And the best part of it is that he's working for you for completely free of charge. He's never gonna ask for salary, not to talk about salary raise. All you need to do is have a nimble storage array and an active HPE support contract. What do you say? You want me to intro him to you? I don't know about you guys, but that's a pitch perfect to me. Like, wow. Wow, I still get shivers when, when uh, telling that story. And actually that's so perfect that ever since I heard that one year ago in Auckland, I have been actually using it with all my trainings as an example, how a good near perfect pitch could be like. Uh, I can't remember the name of the person who told me this pitch in Auckland, uh, but if you're watching this, please comment in the comment fields or send me email. I would love to link with you again. This was just, just perfect. Awesome. Okay, on that bombshell, let's get to the next one. All right, so the next one I heard just a few weeks ago, actually, in Manila, Philippines. And um, without any further introduction, let me dive into it. So, we all know how important our health is for us. It's the one single most important thing. That's why we vaccinate ourselves, we eat vitamins, etc., etc. Now, every now and then we still catch a flu or need more medical attention. But imagine if that would not be the case. Imagine if you would have some kind of active human health monitoring system consisting of small nanobots that are coursing through your veins, monitoring your vitals. And if they notice a dip in iron levels, for example, they would be able to inject a small dose of iron to make your health optimal again. Not only that, but they are talking to other nanobots in other human beings. And if those other nanobots have found out about a new kind of health condition and found a cure for that, your nanobots would get that information and would be able to cure it, not only cure it, but prevent it possibly. This way, our system is so good that already today we can prevent 86% of diseases and health conditions that we previously had in humankind. We still have 14% to improve, but while we are doing that, 
When the nanobots are noticing some health condition that they are not aware of how to cure or prevent, they will be automatically calling the best doctors on the planet. And those doctors would, would come and make a home visit and start curing you even before you get any symptoms. This system would make you pretty much immune to everything and you can concentrate on your life, worry-free. Wow! I'm loving this job. Um, if you can make a connection between human health and data centers, then you are doing something big, you know, but that's what it is. You can actually once again make a perfect comparison from that human health monitoring system uh, and InfoSight. That's what we are actually doing. And that's what is fantastic about this specific pitch. Once again, I can't remember the name of the lady who, who told this uh, pitch uh, just a few weeks ago in Manila. But if you are watching this, the same applies to you. Write a comment in the comment field and I will uh, give you all the credit that you re deserve from, from this pitch. Or just send me an email because I would just like, like, like to uh, link with you again. Awesome stuff. Onwards to the third one. This is not as much of a pitch as it is a claim. And my claim to you is that there is no such thing as a bad luck in the world. There's only A, lack of information and B, failure to execute. Either one of those. Let's take a for instance. So I would be standing here and there would be a server flying towards me. Could happen. So server is coming towards my forehead and uh, I wouldn't know about it. I'm just standing here and the server hits my forehead. I kind of drop dead immediately. Um, and people around me would be saying that that was one unlucky person. What are the chances that the server is flying in the air and secondly it's hitting me in my forehead? Well, actually, from my point of view, it has nothing to do with luck or unluck. It's only lack of information. I did not know that servers fly and it's coming to fly to my forehead. If I would have known that and I still stand here waiting for it to hit my forehead, that would be just plain stupidity and or failure to execute. But if I knew that the server is flying there towards my forehead and I do this, the server would fly next to me and I would survive another day. So let's extend this. If I would have all the information in the whole wide world and I would be able to act on it, I would never get unlucky. If I would know everything, how things would happen, and I would be able to use that information to my advantage, I would never get unlucky. This is what we are trying to do with InfoSight. We collect vast amount of information out of different software and hardware sensors. We send that information to the centralized cloud and we do analytics on it using AI and machine learning and a peak team of data scientists and all these sophisticated things. And then out of all that learned information, we send back to the community. We send recommendations and we prevent things and so on and so on. This is all in effort to not make our customers unlucky ever again. There you go. That's it. The top three pitches I've heard about InfoSight and all of them are pitch perfect. Now, anybody who recognizes yourselves from the pitches, comment or email me. I will give you the credit that uh, you deserve. That was it, guys, this time and see you with the next one. Bye.